This video was created to help the HVAC professional install and maintain TACO equipment. Please read the on-screen disclaimer before viewing this video. A KS8013, we're going to remove and uh, replace the seal on it. First thing we do is we take the coupler guard off, put it aside, we'll grab the flush line, take the flush line out of the way. Now we're going to dismantle the coupler. Remove all the screws, rotate to the other side, repeat the steps. Now we're going to pop the two couples apart. The way we do that, there's a gap in it, put a screwdriver in it, nice and easy. Making sure, making sure the keys stay in. You don't want to mix this key with that key. It's a matching set. Once you've done that, we're going to go ahead and loosen the seal. Press down gently because it's spring-loaded. Remove it gentle. This is the seal uh, seat. And it's the seal. Try not to get your fingers on the seal in case you have to reuse it unless you're going to replace it with a brand new one. And that's how we take it apart. Now we're going to get a brand new seal and we're going to replace it. Just keep in mind that you never want to get your fingers on a seal face. If it does happen, you can wipe it off. Never, never put your fingers there purposely. You want to keep that as clean as possible. When you're putting the seat in, the seal chamber, you got to make sure that it's nice and clean. Once you press it in, any residue, silicone, make sure you wipe it nice and clean. We got the spring holder, spring. Now when you get the seal, you want to put a little bit of silicone, just a dab. Wipe off the excess, nice and gently. Now you get your seal chamber, it goes right over it. Now it's a preloaded seal, it's got the spring, so you're going to have to press down when you're putting the seal cap down. You got a ratchet. Now we're going to replace the seal coupler in there. You got to make sure that the keys are in because that's what's going to pick up the motor for the working height of the seal because the, the impeller just dropped all the way down. All right. Line up the two shafts. If you can line up the two shafts, it'll be easier to put in. Locating on the bottom. With a screwdriver, you pry it up or pry bar. Once you get it in and you feel comfortable, you can rotate the shaft. Grab your other half. Making sure that you got a real gap on both sides, make them both even. And the way you're going to do that is you're going to put three screws on one side.
Three screws on the opposite side going the opposite way now. So that it's balanced. Bolt it up. Very important that A, the pump spins really free. And the gap on this side is the same size on this side. And the way you do that is by tightening the bolts, tighten them evenly. Once you've achieved that, now you're ready to go put the couple of the flush line on. And the guard on. And that's how you change the seal. Whether it's a small pump, a 1506 or a 1415 pump, they're all identical. There's no difference between the seals. One small, one's large. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes taking your time. The larger ones, because it's heavy, it can take a little longer, but no more than a half hour. And that's it. Thank you. Visit us online for more support and information on the full line of Taco systems and components. Thanks for watching.